Hey everybody, my name is Gadamwa. Welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. We're going to continue this series. We're in 1920, so we're officially in the 20s now. We, uh, have si what, simulated three seasons, I believe? So that's three seasons of simulation. Uh, let me see real quick the history. So first year, there we go. First year was Toronto who won the cup. They beat us and then they beat uh, the Millionaires, I believe, uh, Vancouver back then. And afterwards, the two other seasons, it was uh, us winning the cup. So we won two cups in a row. And I'm looking forward to win another cup in a row. I'm going to try to win as many cups, boys, as possible during my stay with Montreal. So let's just go ahead. I'm, I'm in here until 1921. So it might be my last season or the next season is going to be my last one. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm looking forward to this. So let's do this shit. Uh, we're going to take a look at the lines. Same, pretty much same lines as always, right? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know why Cook, right? Cook is not growing as much as I would like him to. I mean, he's taking a, a bit of time uh, to grow. He's 25 years of age. He's still only two and a half star. Babe Die is growing, though. Uh, three stars for him. So, I don't know, boys. Babe, Bill Cook is just taking a bit more time. He's playing on the fourth line, but he does have a prospect contract, does he not? Uh, I'm not sure, boys. Does he have, a uh, like, a prospect contract or something like that? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. But one of the problems we have as, as well is we don't have enough budget to sign these uh, drafts, right? These draft picks that we had. McKinnon, I don't care about him. But we do have more Morens. Of course, we made a big trade for him, Morens and uh, Stewart. And uh, in order for the for them uh, to to be signed by me, I need budget. I don't have enough budget, so they're gonna have to be uh, to not play at all uh, this season. So they're probably gonna grow in their own little CHL or whatever it is they're playing in the big minors, but. For me, they're not going to play in the, the big leagues, that's for sure. So, uh, 22. So, we're going to skip on to the 20, uh, 22nd of uh, 1920. That's when the the whole thing's going to start. So, all these guys, they're all good. Yep, they're all good. They're basically, they're, they're in the waivers as always. But I don't care too much. Joliat, of course, uh, is in there, right? He's playing uh, still in minors. He did grow. Uh, but he, he looks like, look, he has less potential for some reason. I don't know why. He's going to have more potential eventually. Joliat is one of these good players, boys. So don't know, don't worry too much about it. Uh, by the end of this year, he's probably going to be ready to play in the league. So next year is definitely going to be ready. And we're going to have to find a spot for him in the team. So let's see. we got about to continue. And we're still in the preseason. What the fuck? And this is taking forever. We're, we're getting all these... Uh, these little things right here. Alright, so good. We're about to start this season. The Hamilton Tigers, previously known as the Quebec Bulldogs last year. Uh, they are they changed their names in their city. So now it's basically them. They're from Ontario now. So let's see how they're going to fare against us. Open offers, obviously. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the offer because I can't sign him anyway. So it doesn't matter. There you go. I can't sign him. Let's hope that Moran's la next year is going to be uh, ready or is going to have is going to have uh, growth uh, done on him. And uh, let's go. Let's continue here. I do want to see. Uh, do I on my end? I'm not doing uh, the. I'm not doing the training, right? No, I'm not because that's the coach's part. Yeah, that's the coach uh, doing that. All right, good. Let's start it up, boys. Let's start this shit up. Babe Die playing. Uh, actually, he's on the first line, Babe Die now. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, uh, Babe Die is on the first line now playing with uh, Lalonde and Malone, boys. So there we go. McKay's playing with Pitt. So let's just see how it goes. I mean, Babe Die on the first line, he's going to have a good time. And Ainsworth is, looks to be the, the main goaltender this year. So Vizina is probably going to miss a lot of games. Uh, too bad for him, I guess. Uh, that's a shame for Vizina, but he's growing old. And Ainsworth is only grow going up in uh, growth. So that's obviously uh, what's going to happen. Let's go. We're re winning a lot of goal uh, games right now. We won all of our games, actually. You look at the lineups. 
So these are the lineups he wanted to do, for sure. I mean, I keep them like that because these two play fantastic together. I don't know about Babe Die though. Do, does he play good with Babe Die? I mean, he can do whatever he wants, I guess. Uh, what about Ainsworth and uh, Vizina though? Yeah, Ainsworth is a lot better than Vizina this year. Yeah, he's a lot better, boys. That's there's uh, no wonder he's playing him instead of Vizina. Holy shit! All right, let's continue. The simulation right here. There's there been a trade. Uh, Arbor and uh, Art. Let's go. We're winning a lot of games right now, as you can see. We're winning all of our games. Oh, we're, we're winning the cup this year. We're winning this, the cup this year. Forget about it, boys. This is... Uh, oh, this is our first loss. There we go. Our first loss uh, in the league. It's our 10th uh, game. And this year, we got the stats. So, be best score, Babe Die. Here we go. He's going to be a fantastic player for us, man. What a player he's going to be. Imagine when he's going to uh, play with... I, I, I know he's going to... At that time, he's probably going to start be... He's probably going to be in his prime, actually, when he's going to play with Moran's boys. So, uh, start playing with him. So, imagine when Moran's is going to play with him. That's going to be fantastic. Holy, the amount of points they're going to do. So, 10 goals for him and 10 games played. Did he pit... Like, look, he's 37 years of age. He can still put up nine points, the uh, nine goals and 17 points in 10 games played. This guy is crazy good. What a player this Pitt is. I've got so many good players. That's just how it is, really. I've got the good players playing together. George A, for some reason, is the best player of our team right now. 23 goal uh, points. He's definitely going to have his best career uh, season. That's crazy. Uh, 20, uh, same thing for Malone and Lalonde. They both have 23 points as well. Yo, that's crazy. All these players doing fantastic for me right now. That's that's really awesome. George Ains worth 9 goals and 10 games played. Uh, Vizna hasn't played yet a single game. I don't know if he's going to play any. He probably will uh, one or two, but I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. So let's just continue the simulation right here. We're winning another game. There we go. That's another one, uh, another win again. We're looking to be unstoppable this year. So definitely what's going to happen is we're definitely going to win another cup, boys. So third cup in a row. Can we do it? I mean, it's pretty easy early on to win these early cups, boys. Because there's only two, three or four teams during the seasons. And there's only two teams that can go into the uh, every time. Two, two teams that can go into the playoffs and stuff. So it's kind of easy. We did get uh, broadband suspended though for two games. That is not good at all. Well, okay, so he did get replaced. So the coach is doing already doing it. That's perfect. I mean, the coach is uh, acting fast. I I should say. Look at this. He's acting really fast. Uh, he's he saw that he was um, suspended, so he made his uh, thing right. He's he was acting really fast. So that's perfect. Uh, I still think. Oh yeah, I'm doing. I'm letting him doing his own strategies and everything. He's a really good coach, actually. Yeah, I'm really happy about the coach I got, boys. A really uh, above average coach and everything. He's doing a fantastic job for our team right now. Not enough skaters, though. Do I absolutely have to? Damn. Yeah, I have to get uh, another player. So I gotta get my replacement, of course. It's either Payer or Tommy Smith. Payer uh, did play once in our team, but uh, he's not good enough. So, uh, Tommy Smith, you're going to be the one playing right now in the right wing position. And uh, let me see really quick. Let's go to Montreal. And you're going to be playing. Let me just uh, assistant dress, uh, dress players, I guess. There you go. Assistant dress players. He's in right now. Uh, you can go ahead and do your lines. There we go, just like that. And uh, set up the rolls. Everything's good. He's playing on the fourth line, obviously, with Dunderdale and Berlay Cat. And that gives a chance for two games, at least, for Bill Cook to uh, play with. Oh, no, I knew I had an Arbor, but he's playing. Uh, it's not the same one. Okay. I was about to say, boys. I knew I, I had an Arbor guy. Uh, number 12. Okay, for now, I'm just going to give you number 11, all right? It's just for two games, my guy. So you're going you're going back into the minors anyways after that. There we go. Okay. Oh, is he out for more than that? No, he's not. He's not. Okay, so he is 
uh, he is back. So that was only two games. So he's back. Let me see real quick. We're not too happy about their ice time. Obviously, for me, you're not good enough. I would play you on the third line instead of the fourth line because you're the you're as good as broadband and you're you have more potential. You're younger, but I'm not the coach, so I don't get to decide. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna get back uh, Tommy Smith back in there, back in the minors. Let's get uh, the dress back again. Him dressed, and we're just gonna. Uh, oops. There we go, just like that. Oh, there we go. So he did decide to build, uh, put Bill Cook now in the uh, third line. There we go. That's what I would do. I mean, just keep Bill Cook in there so he, he can do more points because that's the how they p the players grow. If they have a good season in stats, they grow a lot more. You know, uh, they have a lot better chance of grow fa growing fast. Uh, but uh, if they don't uh, play as much. And because of that, they don't they don't tend to grow too much, and that's probably what's happening to Bill Cook, playing a little bit too many years, and uh, fourth line is gonna hurt him. So 20 games played. There we go. How many games do we have this year? We have 24 games. So it's a regular season of 24 games. Let me see the stats. So best score: 17 point uh, goals for Dick Irvin, the best score of the league with uh, in 20 games played. Pretty good. Babe Dye still has 16 goals. Uh, he's doing fantastic. Uh, New Zealand on back on top once again with 43 points. So he's having a better season than last year. Pretty good, really good. Uh, and uh, Malone's got a 39 points. Pretty good as well. George A with 34. Babe Dye 33. 32 right there. And 30 for Cyclone Taylor. Nice. My players are doing fantastic, boys. Okay, let me just see. Uh, George Ensworth, 18 goals. Yeah, he played every single game. Vizina hasn't played a single game, boys. Well, they say he played two games, but officially it probably was a replacement or something. Yeah, from the two games, he uh, was giving too many goals, I guess. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's just continue until the t last four games. We don't have anything to do, uh, anything else to do, really. So we're going to continue right here. There we go, Ensworth. You're doing a fantastic job this year. And the coach as well. I mean, I'm really happy I changed the coach. Is that him making the difference or is that just my players being that good, you know? I'm not sure. But uh, this is the playoffs after all. Did I simulate the first game of the playoffs? I might have done that. Hold on. I think I did. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know, boys. But uh, we got the 24 games. Let's uh, go ahead and see the stats. We finished first, obviously. Hamilton Tigers finished last. Best score of the league. So the most, uh, the Rocket Richard Trophy is going to go to Babe Die on his third season, I believe, right? Is it his third season? Yeah, his third season as a part of the Montreal Canadiens. The best scorer of the league with 21 game goals and 24 games played. Really awesome. What a player he is, man. He's only 22 years of age. He's going to do so much so much better. So that's crazy. We got Dick Corvin with 19. Um, we got Malone, 18. All this. Uh, New Zealand with the best amount of points. So the, uh, the best player of the league this year. 51 points. 20, 49 points for Joe Malone. Uh, and George A's got a 44. We got McKay as well a 40. 38 for Babe Die and 36 for Cyclone Taylor. There we go. And uh, let's see the goalies. So best goalie of Grusev with the most wins. 22 wins and 24 games played. He played every single game for our team. I mean, look at that mental awareness. 19 of mental awareness. This goalie is off the charts. He's overall a lot better than Vizina could have ever been, boys. He's, he's a lot better. And Vizina's a great, a great goalie, but he's growing old. Uh, he's three stars. He still can go. He still can be a starter, but he's growing old, boys. The Ensworth is just too awesome. He's overshadowing uh, Vizina's career right now. Let me see real quick. So we uh, we got these stats right here. They're looking for next year. They're probably gonna get these two, uh, the 200 mark uh, points definitely. And they could be getting these two as well, the 100 goals mark. They could. And Hap Holmes 
He's around the 50 mark for this career. That's interesting. Vizna is on the 34, but he's probably going to be beat easily by uh, Ainsworth. I mean, Ainsworth's already got 30 go uh, 30 wins. There you go. So 34 wins for Vizna in his career. 30 wins for Ainsworth. You can see what I was talking about right here. Dizzy Pitts, okay. Pretty awesome. And the rest is pretty good. What about uh, Babe Die? If we take a look really quick, where's Babe Die in all of this? 82 points and 66 game played. All right, all right. I mean, Cyclone Taylor is even better. I mean, he's, and he's a defenseman. That's crazy. We got some good players we acquired. But Babe Die is just a guy that we drafted. So imagine what we can Morenz do for us once we have him. We can actually sign him. Let's start it up, boys. The simulation against... The, Stor uh, the Toronto St. Patrick's. Let's see what we can do. Can we beat them? Obviously we can, yeah. We already defeated them, so... There we go. We won the cup officially. That was basically it. Definitely it. So, take a look at the transaction really quick. We won uh, against them big time. Okay, so... Here's what we got. Actually, best potentials right here. There we go. That's how I'm going to work it out. Nothing really aside from... Who's the uh, Jack McDonald? Okay. Uh, aside from Rory Waters. I actually know he's 20 years of age. So we don't have anybody. No, we don't have anybody that's uh, actually going to be uh, set up in stone. All right. So do it. let's just assimilate. Uh, there we go. We're going to be participating, obviously. Who are we facing? The Vancouver Millionaires again. The 16. Pretty good season for them as well. They had a pretty decent season. All these other teams, the three other teams, they were struggling. Against me, I guess. They were having average seasons or bad seasons. I guess it's because they... I mean, like, Toronto had, like, Cyclone Taylor. But I I got rid of them. Like, he, he got in my team. I guess I was the better man for that one. And I kind of stole a couple of trades and stuff like that. But still, I think they have a, best, a good team overall. So they should be able to challenge me. I don't know, boys. Maybe I just have too much of a good team. I mean, all these crazy young players coming in. I don't know. So we did triumph. We took the Stanley Cup for a third time in a row, boys. So third Stanley Cup in a row. We're definitely a dynasty now. Already off the bat. So we start off for four, uh, our first four years as a dynasty. And I think this might be the end of my country. This might be my last year uh, for my contract. So I don't know if I'm going to re-sign with Montreal. I really don't know, boys. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see, really, uh, how it goes. I'm not not sure if I want to resign. If if that's uh, my last year, if the next year, yeah, it was my last year. Contract, I got the contract extension, but I don't know if I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna go until the first of July to uh, get uh, to make my decision. So, Mr. Patrick wants to stay. Is a time for me to decide. Do I want to? Let me see real, real quick though. The scouts, I'm definitely going to resign them. I'm going to resign the scouts, no problem. There we go. It's the coaches that I don't know if I'm going to resign them or not. So let me just uh, see really quick. Uh, Beanie is an assistant coach and a trainer. Okay, so we got the two, assist, two assistant coaches, a trainer, and actually another assistant coach, which is Lester Patrick, would be a fantastic coach, by the way. He, re he would really be. A fantastic coach. If I keep him, I should probably be put him as a head coach. He, he should be a head coach right now. Uh, I don't know, boys, but um, I don't know if I want to stay with Montreal. Do I stay with Montreal or do I move on to a different team? That's the uh, answer, right? I already d gave Montreal three wins, three cups in a row. I feel like I, I should probably give a chance to another team to get those cups now. I'm kind of tempted to just move on to a different team. I gave Montreal their uh, three cups. Now I think uh, it's time for me to move on and try a different team. Try a new, uh, a new thing. So what we're gonna do? Because I'm trying. I'm gonna. I know this is. Uh, I know I shouldn't do that, but uh, I'm gonna reject everything. There we go. All these coaches and trainers. So the Montreal Canadiens are gonna have to start a new. New coaches everywhere, aside from the head coach. Go ahead and simulate right here. After this, all right, so I'm going to definitely resign after the... Uh, well, on the 1st of July, I'm going to resign. And I'm going to 
go ahead and choose a, do a new team, boys. We got a bunch of points because I got the Stanley Cup win. All right, good, good, good. So defense, coaching defense, coaching goalies at 10 as well. Pretty good. Now we're starting to be a, a good head coach potential, a uh, potential good coach. That's really good. Uh, Self-preservation, negotiation skills. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I, I would say actually offensive training. Yeah, offensive training for sure. And then defensive training. There we go. So that's done. Let's go into the 1st of July. There we go. So let's just take a look, quick, uh, a quick look at what the next year, next year is going to look like. Western Canada Hockey League became the second major po pro professional league uh, uh, in Western Canada. They would play an interlocking schedule with the PCHA. So there's two Canadian, the Canadian leagues right now, all of a sudden. Um, and the champions of the two leagues would meet to determine who played the NHL champion for the Stanley Cup, so for the final. So there's a final in the Can in Canada to determine who's going to get into the finals for the Cup against the champion for the NHL. It's basically uh, really complicated, boys. It really is. Uh, team changes. Calgary Tigers joined the uh, Canadian League. Okay, same thing for Eskinos, a bunch of players, a bunch of new teams for Canadian League. None for the uh, NHL, though. So it stays the same for that. And uh, we got some new leagues. And a new player, Bunk Cook. That's it. That's it, boys. So I'm going to resign from Montreal. Let me see really quick. Uh, how do I resign? Oh, uh, resign from the team. There we go. I'm officially resigning from the team. There we go. So uh, resigning from Montreal. Do we make this a challenge and go with the Hamilton Tigers? They're a brand new team. That's been uh, this is our their third year. This is the thing. They're not going to be there for too long. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get replaced eventually by another team. Uh, I don't know, boys, but I kind of tend to to uh, make it a bit more challenging. So go with the Hamilton Tigers and probably gave them a chance at least to compete for the playoffs or something like that. Give them a chance, right? So I might do that. I think I want a challenge. I want to go for the Hamilton Tigers. Let's go uh, with them. So what I'm going to do in order to for me to do that, I got to go into, I got to go, there we go, available jobs. There we go. So these are all the teams right here I can go to. Since I'm a J commissioner mode, I can choose whoever I want, basically. So let me see really quick. Uh, Calgary Tigers, whatever. I'm not going to go in there. In Canada, I'm not gonna go in Canada. I am gonna go though. In my, I'm gonna stay in my in the league. So there we go. This is the worst team, as you can see. They're all in the playoff race, but this is the one team that is not in the playoff race. I'm gonna take a look at. Uh, I'm gonna take control of the Hamilton Tigers. Take over the team. We're gonna put it at four years, maximum amount of years, so that we can do as ma uh, the maximum amount of uh, things we can do with them. Right. There we go. There we go. We're officially with them, boys. So, welcome. We are the new GM for the Hamilton Tigers. Let's see what we can do with them. Uh, I'm going to take a look at all of this. I'm going to do the same changes always. And uh, so, take me, uh, give me a, uh, some time here. All right, boys. So, we got a lot of things. To, I had a lot of things to do uh, because it's a new team, brand new team. So, I had a big time roster to to check, to figure out what to do with it. We've got some good players overall. I mean, we've got some potential players, but uh, nothing too shabby. So I can understand why the, this team was struggling a little bit. Uh, also, in uh, terms of staff, I do have to find my coaches still. I went ahead and fired everyone. Right now, I am the head coach. I'm not going to stay that for too long, but uh, I'm looking to just go ahead and make uh, let everybody sign first so i, I want to sign everybody uh, first every single player so there we go just sign all the players i can uh, just to make sure st patrick's just uh, made a a trade all right so uh, i don't know if that's everybody that signed i think everybody signed i uh, was looking for the free agency but the thing is free agency doesn't have any players this year it's a quiet year for the free agency which is bad because uh, bad for me because 
Uh, this is the type exactly the type of year I would need to uh, to get some stuff done. I need to resign this guy as well. Fuck. All right, let me just resign him again. Uh, that that, and you're gonna be a fringe uh, prospect, my guy. Nothing more than that. All right, good. We got that done. Do we have anybody else that has a one-year deal in my team? Not. No, all right, everybody's gonna be resigned. We got our four centers, everything. Uh, the thing is, we got some pretty bad players. You can see we got some prospects, and that's a big problem. We got some prospects that are not ready to play in the league. They're playing in the league right now because we don't have anybody, every, every any real player that's actually ready to play in the league. We we're missing that. So we're going to have to make, and we only have one of my rules that I'm putting on myself is I can only trade for one player from another team. So that's kind of the problem, the situation I have right now. And uh, I can't really change anything because lefty, I mean, I could probably do that. I mean, I could probably go for Earl Campbell or something like that, but it's only one star. So it's not going to make any difference, really any big difference. So. I'm just going to keep the prospects in. I don't have any unsigned draftees or anything. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the staff. And afterwards, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, simulate until the draft pick, I guess. All right, great news, boys. We got everybody signed. This guy just signed with me again, uh, resigned. Everything is good. Uh, I got a bunch of players in the minors that I haven't signed, but uh, I'm waiting for them because these are the guys I'm going to. Uh, I'm all gonna all these players that I don't have signed or anything. These are all the players that I'm not. Uh, I'm basically not uh, gonna do anything with them. I'm gonna try to trade them or something like that for a couple of draft picks, pro possibly, like a couple of draft picks or a couple of of players, something potential players, right? Because they're not worth anything. So we got that. Uh, take a look really quick at my coaches. So my head coach, you already knew. I got rid of Lester Patrick in Montreal, uh, but uh, I went for him. Obviously, he's going to be an awesome coach for us. Look at his stats. I mean, obviously, I went for uh, Lester Patrick. I knew he had to be a coach, so I went for him, boys. Lester Patrick is going to be our, our head coach. We've got all these players. They're pretty good overall. See, this is the best I could find for us. This is what we're going to uh, work with. Let's uh, go right into the trade uh, or the draft pick. We got a very first draft pick. We got the very first because we, uh, the, uh, the team I picked up shot the bed last year. So we can get Tini Thompson, which is the best potential. Is there an uh, ability uh, tab? Not really. Not everybody. Any nobody's ready for the this year for the first year. So that's fine. Uh, King Clincy is one of these great players as well as you could. Uh, uh, there's names that I know for sure. Uli Smith is kind of normal. T. Thompson is a good player, a good goalie, though. So we'll pick T. Thompson. I guess he's the first overall uh, choice, really. So let's just pick T. Thompson. The rest, pick until human. King Clincy, I'll gladly take King Clincy on their team. Uh, the rest, Hamilton Tigers, I guess I'll take this guy. Uh, there we go. And uh, that's pretty much it. We got two draft picks in a row. We got a lot of draft uh, picks, actually, right now. It must be from Montreal. Back when we were at Montreal, I traded a bunch of my draft picks. I guess I traded it in, uh, to them. So let's just go to unsigned draftees. We're definitely going to sign uh, this guy. So we got plenty of money to sign these prospects over here, boys. So uh, we're going to do that right there. And I think that should be good depth. You're actually going to be a blue chip prospect, my guy. There we go, blue chip prospect, and that should be good enough. There we go. And uh, same thing for you, Clincy. Uh, Clincy, you're not going to be a pro blue chip prospect, but I am going to sign you and give you the uh, f uh, I ch just a prospect. Yeah, you're going to be a prospect uh, for me. And that's about it. The rest of them, I can just get rid of them. I don't care too much about these players, so these are rights that I can get rid of, basically. So I think we're good. There we go. Uh, update. I'm going to wait for them to sign with me. King Clint CS signed. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and tell them to get this number for now. And uh, Tini Thompson's in. All right. So good. 
Tinny Thompson, uh, both of them. So they are both gonna go into the free, uh, not free agency, but into the minors. All right, they're not ready to play yet. So we're gonna play them in the minors. Actually, uh, Kinsey could probably be a lot better than Monroe when you think about it, right? Yeah, Kinsey would be a lot better than Monroe. So I'm thinking I could play, play Kinsey. We do have Connell as well, as you can see. So we got some good players, uh, good goalies coming up. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, King Kinsey, I'm going to play him instead of uh, of Monroe because he's probably a lot better. 12, 13, yes, already has a lot more potential, yeah. So Monroe's going to be the one playing uh, down there. And Kinsey, I guess, is going to be the one playing, boys, uh, over here with the team. He's going to start right off the bat after we draft him. He's going to start playing for us. That's good. Well, we had some... We got some decent goalies. I mean, we do have Fowler and uh, Murray, but they're like they're both backups. I feel like so. All right, so here's where it starts to get a bit uh, riffy, boys. We're gonna go ahead and make our trade for our player, a player right that we need. So the worst player of the team right now, the one we need the most. We're not gonna be able to upgrade a player. Uh, it's basically gonna re be a replacement. Um, so it means I'm gonna get one of these two players. So either right D or left D. I'm looking for right D or left D. So King Clancy, you're probably not gonna play. All right, right now you're you're playing, but you're probably not gonna play. So either Owen or Clancy, they're gonna have to go back into the minors. I'm gonna find a right D or a left D can actually play in the league, and I've got plenty of players, plenty of drafts. So I'm looking for the best possible player in here. That I can find best possible defenseman is actually in Montreal. So Ari Cameron, once again, he was playing. If you remember properly, right? He was playing for Toronto. Was I when I was with Montreal? I decided to trade for him, and he's been doing good for Montreal for me for the last two years I was with them. I might go for him, boys. I think I'm gonna go for him again. I think he's gonna move again. He's gonna just play. He's gonna play for me, but for a different team, I guess. Yeah, I'm thinking he's 31 years of age, though. Uh, Buck Boucher is a good one. Cyclone Taylor would be a really good one, though. But uh, he's really old. He's really old. 37 years of age. He's going to drop. Yeah, no, he's he's really old. So the best option right now definitely would be Eric Cameron. So let's go for him, boys. Look at these goalies, these five-star goalies right here. I could probably try and go for Vizina as well while I'm at it, right? Give him a chance to goal, uh, to goal for the net. I'm going to try that one. I want Vizina to have a chance to uh, to um, have some wins or have some goals, right? So there we go. Let's make a trade offer. We're going to go to Montreal right away. Montreal, I'm going to ask you. Uh, there we go. So ask you to give me. Who do we? Uh, who do, uh, there we go. Cameron. So Cameron is a four or three point uh, three point five, and uh, where's Vizina? Vizina, Vizina is a two point five. Let's put us at a three star overall. Three stars right there, or six stars, I should say, not three stars. Six stars for these two players. All right, six stars. All right, let's see uh, what we can give them, boys. So. Uh, obviously, we got to give them one of our... Actually, we don't even have to give them one of our goalies, but I will because that would be cheap otherwise. So uh, I'll just give them Murray. Murray. There we go. Or, or do I give them Fowler? Fowler, where is he? He's a 2.5 as well. Let's keep Fowler. We're going to give them uh, Murray. So give them Murray. There we go. That's uh, 1.5 for me. There we go. 1.5. And the rest, the rest, the rest. Uh, now I just got to find these players, these potential. And uh, the ones that uh, only have one new deals. Hold on. All right. I think that's as much as I could give them. I gave them a lot of players. A goalie, obviously. A couple of prospects. Plus our second round pick for these two guys. Uh, it's going to be rough. It's a, it's a rough trade, boys. It's a lot I'm, give, uh, I'm giving them. And even I have to give them a little bit more. I'm gonna have to give them the fourth round to uh, to make it solid in my in my book as well. So I'm just gonna go head back in there in Montreal. I'm gonna just give them really quick the fourth round I had. 
there we go just like that there we go and that makes it that's uh, basically the trade that i'm doing so these four players a second and a fourth for Harry cameron and george vizina boys going to our team right here vizina still has uh two years uh under contract there we go so we got the goalie and we've got cameron so uh we got a right d uh so clancy is going to play for us so i guess owen you're going to play in the minors my guy you're playing in the minors this year so we're going to be have a better chance of growing and so there we go big time improvement for goalie the goalie in the right d position so at least we improved but we do not we cannot trade anymore for any other gold and uh, any other players so that was basically the one trade that we did we could have done uh for the for the players so now you can take a look really quick uh we still have four players over here that we need to trade for some draft picks so we, we traded right uh, two draft picks we can get them back uh, by doing that that's basically uh, half a star plus that that's uh, half a star as well yeah that's half a star as well half a star so 1.5 right there that's two stars that's two stars in total that we can get so that's like uh, I'm not entirely sure what that would be but uh, I'm gonna go I can't go for Montreal anymore so I'm guessing I, I'll go for Senate the Ottawa Senators and uh, I'll ask them, I guess, for uh, two stars. For them, a two star is this right here, I think. Two fourth round should do it uh, for this. So I'm just going to get the two fourth round. Actually, when I think about it, probably more. Hold on. Because we got the players, right? We, um, we got the players that... Uh, there we go. So that puts us... Uh, I'm just going to get these four guys right here. There we go. That puts us at uh, f uh two stars right but we still have the rights as well so two stars plus that that's three stars that right there is uh both half a stars uh i already have enough okay so i i can't get them more so three stars right there i guess i can get uh well i could get them with that i could get them uh so that would be another star three stars are four star that's a four star I can get um, definitely out of that. I could get uh, what what player uh, or what draft? I think it's that right there. Four star, right? Two third rounders uh, should be good for us. So we're gonna get two third rounders. I'm gonna give them the two other players I need to give them as well. Let me see uh, Ottawa. Let's go back to Ottawa. Give them my uh, two other rights that I had. So there we go. Add rights. Make the trade happen. And there we go. So a lot of trades, uh, obviously, but we did get three uh, third rounders. So, uh, yeah, a lot of trades happening, I guess. Now, we're going to save it right here. We're going to jump into the next season for the next video with a brand new team, brand new coaches. Well, kind of the same old, same old. I we still have Lester Patrick and he's the head coach now. So I'm excited to see what he can do with this brand new team. Uh, can we make them go for the playoffs? I upgraded them a little bit and we got some new coaches, better coaches, better everything. Let's just see, boys, how it's going to go. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.